All right. Well, let's just see if everyone's in. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to our 10 o'clock demo. Uh, my name is Cindy Williams. I am the Vendor Relations Manager with CPOA, the California Peace Officers Association, and I would like to welcome you to our October demo days. We're doing it a little differently. Obviously, we can't get together in 2020, but we did want to connect you with the products and services that you still need uh, to secure and to resource. So that's why we're doing this virtually for you. And um, we have a full schedule all day at the top of every hour today. We've got new demos for you. And our 10 o'clock demo is brought to you by Panasonic. Benefits of selecting the right devices and services when managing a remote workforce. And I would like to welcome Territory Manager, Mike Haas. Hi, Mike. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Cindy. Good morning. Welcome. Well, this, uh, this is screen. The screen is yours to share. We look forward to hearing more about Panasonic. Great. Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you very much for uh, attending this morning. Um, as Cindy says, this is the, uh, the new normal that we need to get used to, un un unfortunately. So um, I did want to thank everyone for first coming and attending. Um, what I'm going to do today is basically, uh, you know, start off, give you an overview on Panasonic, the devices that we uh, provide to public safety, especially in the law enforcement field, obviously and then uh, go into a little bit more on the services we also provide and, and solutions. And then at the end, if there are any questions, I'll be more than happy to, uh, to take them uh, as well. So I first want to start, um, can everyone see my screen? Or Cindy, can you confirm? Yes, it looks great, Mike. Okay, great. So I want to introduce myself. My name is Mike Haas. I'm the Senior Account Manager for Panasonic Mobility uh, Mobile Devices in Southern California which is basically everything from San Luis Obispo to Kern County, south to the Mexican border. And then Kyle Ogden is the senior account manager for Northern California. Um, he covers everything north of there to the Oregon border. So um, if there's any um, questions or, or follow-up needed, um, obviously I'm the person down south and Kyle is the person for Northern California. So I want to start with this slide. I always thought my presentations with this slide. Um, our founder was Konosuke Matsushita. Um, he formed and, and invent, basically created Panasonic. Um, we celebrated 100 years uh, in 2016. We're actually going to be uh, 105 years, uh, believe it or not, as a company. And the one thing that he said that I really um, took to heart because it really covers everything that we do as a company for Panasonic is um, believe a manufacturer's most important responsibility to the customer. Oh, what happened there? Sorry, folks. I don't know why it's not doing that. I apologize for the, uh, the interruption there. So yeah. the, the, the one quote that, that I really uh, wanted to get, get to everybody is that uh, I believe a manufacturer's most important responsibility to the customer is to make defect-free products. That has been the mantra for Panasonic since day one over 100 years ago. Um, everyone knows who Panasonic is. We make everything from razors to TVs. We used to make uh, turntables with techniques. Hi-Fi stereo systems, for those of you that go back that far. Um, and, and what we did was we took all of that um, knowledge and, and really attention to detail on those products because they were always considered best in breed because they lasted as long as they did. Um, we took that and we moved it into the public safety arena of technology. And what we did by that is we created the, the first fully rugged mobile computing device. And that came out in 1996, it was the CF-25. It was a nine pound laptop, but it was fully rugged. It had all the latest speeds and feeds for that day, um, actually. And what we did is we built upon that based on the feedback from the military, as well as law enforcement like yourself. In 1999, we came out with the first semi-rugged laptop, which is basically just the hair shape, uh, hair, hair below fully rugged. It didn't meet all the A10 standards, but it is um, just as rugged as most 
devices out there, but it just doesn't meet and, and is considered fully rugged. Rugged. In 2015, we had the number one range of rugged computing devices. We branched out, we, we, we did tablets, we did detachable, as well as a, a full laptop solution. And then of course, with the growth of handhelds and Android devices, we came out with those as well. So the Toughbook product lineup is pretty, pretty easy to follow. It's the two-in-one, it's the laptop, it's the tablet, and it's the handheld. The reason we diversified um, by getting away from just as a laptop company is because we took the voice of the customer seriously. Um, everybody remembers a, a, about, it's 10 years now, uh, believe it or not, that everybody was clamoring for tablets. They wanted to get away from laptops and go with tablets. So we did that. And, and as such, we came out with the G1 tablet which today is still considered the first fully rugged, fully rugged Windows tablet device in the world. And that's this device right here, 10 inch solution. It's got the latest processor. Um, it actually is, is sunlight readable, user replaceable battery. Um, you could do field swap out there in the field. It's got front and back camera capability on the device itself. And it has a stylus, so obviously, so you can use it for any type of tablet functions out in the field. And again, fully rugged. It also has integrated Wi-Fi, integrated wireless, and, and these cameras here actually have Microsoft Hello you can incorporate in them as well. So it really uh, fits the need out there in the field. But the question we had when we came out with this was this is a great device, but we really, really miss our keyboards. So what we did as a company is we came out with the CF20, which is this device right here. And that is a 10 inch fully rugged detachable device. And what does that mean by detachable? It means that it can be used as a laptop as you see here, or you can disengage it from the keyboard itself and just use it as a fully rugged tablet. So it gives the officers out in the field the ability if they're doing their field reports to actually use the keyboard out there for reporting or they can use it as a tablet for any type of functionality. And just like the G1, it's got front and back camera capabilities. It's got integrated a wireless WAN, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and such. And as you see on, on the screen, you could also have dedicated GPS in it as well. So it really fits the need for, for a lot of the officers. We see this uh, platform used a lot in motorcycles, detectives, you know, specialized squads that don't need that fully rugged um, or, or, or fully rugged, but a, a larger solution like they have in the vehicles today. Then we have the CF55, I'm sorry, the FC55, which we just came out with a few weeks ago, actually. And this is our semi-rugged, which took the place of those of you that know our platform, the CF54. And the beauty about the FC55, besides its 40 hours of battery life, um, is the fact that it, the, screw, the keyboards itself you can actually choose what color you want on there, whether it's red, blue, green, yellow, white, whatever color you want on the, back, the background of the keyboards you could change. And that, that goes for everything in this device as well. We made this device specifically so it can be field swappable. And what does that mean? That means that on the base itself, you can actually disengage on the back of the device any type of ports that you wanted to dis disengage. So if you wanted to take out the battery, if you wanted to take out the hard drive or the, or the, um, the memory itself, it's basically one Phillips head screwdriver that allows you to actually change this out in the field. You could have up to two batteries, which gives you that um, 40 hours of battery life or use one that gives you about 20 hours of battery life. Um, the screen itself is sunlight readable. It's touchscreen as well, so it gives the officers out in the field everything they need. Like I said, it's almost a fully rugged solution, um, but like I said, for most devices out there, this, this is a really good device to have in the car. Solid state drives, it has the wireless WAN just like the other devices, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi as well. So it really does meet a lot of the needs of the officers out there. Then we move to our Android solutions. Uh, right now, we just came out with the A3 device, which is our newest um, Android platform device, and that's this one. It's 10 inch, fully rugged, and again, comes with the wireless WAN on here. Um, it can do NFC on all the models. It does a one and two D barcode reader as well, if you wanted that on here. 
an insertable smart card reader if, that, if you needed two-factor authentication on this device. It has a five foot drop and it's IP65 rated. So we really recommend this for a fully rugged 10 inch Android solution out in the field, the Toughbook A3. And then for handheld, we have the N1 device, which is this device right here. And I really like the N1. The reason I really like the N1 more than some of the other handheld solutions that are out there is that it's IP68 rated. So what does that mean? That means that if you were to drop this into a swimming pool 10 feet in depth for 30 minutes and took it out, it'll work like a champ. It can work as a phone because it's got dual SIM capabilities inside or as a data device. It also comes with a barcode scanning capability. So if they're doing any type of e-ticket or e-citations out in the field, the officers can use this and it's very, very light. So you can, you can use this out there. It's got 12 hours of battery life. If you had a long life battery attached to it, you can get up to 19 hours of battery life on this and 16 hours for continuous data use. And it is hot swappable. It says warm swappable, but it is hot swappable out in the field. So this is our Toughbook N1 handheld device and handheld solution. And then we come to our standard bearer, which is the CF33, the Toughbook 33. And just like the CF20, it's detachable, but it's in a 12 inch footprint. And when we came out with this device, we wanted to make sure that we, that we made sure we hit all the spots. We, when we came out and designed it, we wanted to make sure it had the latest and greatest. We released this device in 2017 and we wanted to make sure that we didn't miss a thing. So as you look at the specifications, it does have the four to five inch uh, drop. It's got IP65 rating. It does meet mil, mil spec A10G as 461F. Um, it does have an i5 processor currently, 256 to 512 on the hard drive, eight to 16 on the RAM. It does have a three by two aspect ratio with a 1200 nit screen, which is pretty bright. And it's got the front and back camera capabilities, as I mentioned on all the, on all the other devices. The wireless is, you can do um, Wi-Fi, you can do wireless WAN, you can do Bluetooth, and you can do dedicated GPS as far as communications goes. And the weight is a lot, lot lighter than most of your other solutions. And again, this is a detachable solution. So it can be used as a standalone tablet or with the premium keyboard can be used as a laptop. It's up to you. The Mark II specs, this is a preview. We are actually releasing the next mark of this product in February. And these are some of the specifications of that device. As you'll see, we, if for the new device, we actually can do an i7V Pro 10th generation processor. Our solid state drive offerings, we do 512 or one terabyte and memory, we go, go up to 32 gigs of RAM. We also put a privacy cover on the Mark II where this one doesn't have it, the new one will. So you'll have a privacy cover. I know that's an issue for a lot of the officers in the field. They feel they're being your big brothers watching them and you probably have a lot of departments that have tape up there, but we'll have a privacy cover for you. So we'll be able to, uh, to take care of that. The other beauty about this device is that you can do an integrated barcode reader, which is right here for e-ticketing solutions. If you, if you didn't need a barcode, you could put a second USB on here as well. I always get asked about two-factor authentication solutions. So two-factor, we, we have some choices. We can either have an in, a contactless smart card reader, which this device has, where you can use an HID or an RFID card to actually um, and, uh, get into your applications. You could put an insertable smart card reader inside the device, or you could have a biometric fingerprint reader here as well. So you have two factor authentication options actually built into the device itself, which obviously is important for CGIS compliant. And as I said before, everything else remains the same, the, the, the weight and the other thing is the batteries in the back, which are behind this plate are hot swappable as well. So it really does fit all of the needs for the officer out in the field. The layout of the device itself, I wanted to put this screen on so you saw how many inputs and outputs the device actually has. Um, I didn't even mention up here, we have an IR camera and we also can do Microsoft Hello, which is another form of two-factor authentication as well on the device. 
device has HDMI, it's got Ethernet, it's got USB, it's got VGA, it's got serial, it's got every input and output that you could possibly think of um, in, in, in incorporating in the device if the device is not in a vehicle um, docking station. The tablet layout, as you see here, you can see the rear camera is on the back of the device up here. You have the two batteries up here. And then on the other side of the device, like I said before, you've got front facing camera capabilities. The screen itself has a three by two aspect ratio, so which is unusual in, in our field of work because a lot of the other, other um, resolutions are either 16 by nine or 16 by 10. So this gives you three by two aspect ratio on the device, which allows you to uh, fit a lot more um, of the applications on the screen versus having the officer to have to scroll left, right, or up and down. So it gives you a lot more real estate on the screen itself. The two directional locking mechanisms on here, as you'll see on the screen, they lock tight into the device. We actually improved this from when we actually released it the first, um, the first time. And you'll notice that these are a lot more sturdier. They keep the tablet in place and there are no failures on the actual locking mechanism for the premium keyboard. Integrated options, I think I went over that. You could put the 2D barcode reader, as I said, on the top. It comes built into the device here, so you don't need a separate device to do your e-ticketing scanning. Um, the 4G LTE dedicated GPS and low life battery also can be incorporated in the tablet itself. And as I said before, for two-factor, insertable smart card, contactless smart card, or fingerprint are the options that can actually be in, embedded as part of the device itself. So you have one di device that does everything. Keyboard options, for those of you that currently have our CF31s or our CF30s, which, which were our device or standard bearer before the 33, we do have the option of a light keyboard with a vehicle dock adapter which fits on top of your existing CF31 docking station. So if you were to move from the CF31 to the 33, we do have a vehicle dock adapter solution. Um, I will tell you that um, I don't lead with that because typically I like to um, offer new docking stations because they offer more IO than the older CF31 or 30 docking stations, but it's uh, depending on the department of what they want to use. Um, install options. When we designed the 31, we wanted to make sure we didn't miss anything because the different departments have different needs. So the departments that wanted to mount it as a tablet, a standalone tablet, they just buy the 33 as a tablet and they put in a tablet docking station that's dash mounted with an external keyboard so the officer or the passenger can actually use the computer itself. You can use it as a laptop like this in this configuration with a premium keyboard and have it actually into a laptop vehicle docking station and actually have it swivel. And, and so the, off, so the uh, driver and the passenger can actually use this as a laptop solution. There's also a third way that you can use it. And that's basically by turning around the tablet on the keyboard and actually putting it together and engaging right here. So you can mount this as, a, as one unit into a docking station in the vehicle using an external keyboard, but if the officer needs to take it out and do reporting, they have their premium keyboard on here that they could use. So it really does fit all of the different needs and options for the actual officer out into the field. And then we have the existing 31 install, like I said, with the vehicle docking station that, that you could use. So that's all about the tough book hardware. And then I wanted to get into the public sector bundled SKUs. So what are public sector bundled SKUs? So what we did, like I said earlier, is that we listened to the voice of the customer. And the two biggest pain points for Panasonic, quite honestly, is the price itself of the device, because obviously we're not the least expensive device out there. And the other thing was the delivery times of our products. Because our devices are made to order from Japan, from our factories, there are, there are extended delivery times. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to come out with a way that we were able to pretty much mitigate those two factors. And by creating public sector bundled SKUs, what we did was we took four SKUs from our TuffBook and TuffPair products, as like I showed you today, with the exception of the handhelds. And what we were able to do, what we were able to do is to actually wrap in services into the hardware itself. 
So we have three year protection plus coverage plan that we wrap into our devices, which we never did before. We have three year no hard drive return uh, policy a coverage on our devices, which we didn't have before. And, and deployment services, and I'll get into them right now. So three year protection plus coverage out of the box is basically a wraparound maintenance plan on your device um, that covers everything, including accidental protection. Short of wanton damage out in the field, um, when an officer puts a round through it, or it's, it's, it's intentional damage on the device, which would basically qualify as an insurance claim, those devices wouldn't qualify, but everything else would, including running the, running the computer over, which seems to happen quite, uh, quite a lot out there. Um, no hard drive return, what does that mean? That means that if you, for whatever reason, have to send in your Panasonic device for, for repair, you take the solid state drive out of the device, keeping all your CGIS and HIPAA information on site with you, and then we would return it back to you fixed with, with a brand new solid state drive, no questions asked. Deployment services, very important add-on to, uh, to the devices that we, we currently offer. So what we, what we are able to do is we are able to image your devices before they actually come on site. And the way we do that is we work with you, the customer. If you create your own gold image for your devices, we can take that image that you approve on, the, on our device and we can roll out. So if you're doing a, a deployment of 30, 40, 100, whatever, however many uh, uh, computers, we do all the imaging for you so you don't have to keep touching that machine. We can actually have that machine ready to go out of the box for the field at that point. So that's a very big value add that, that we, uh, we provide. Um, the other thing we do is asset tagging. Asset tagging is very important because obviously all of the agencies out there want to make sure that they keep accountability of their devices. If you give us the asset tags, we actually can affix them for you. Or if you needed us to provide asset tags, we can do that as well. We also have an online service analysis uh, portal. And what that means is that you can actually log on to our, our system and actually see all of the history of all of your devices that you've had deployed in the field over the years. So if you did have to send your devices in for repair, you can see everything on there. And what's not on here is also deployment reporting. So if you do order uh, tough books from us and you do use the public sector bundled SKUs and our services, you get a full deployment report. And what that lists is, is the, the make, the model, and the serial number of each device, including the IMEI numbers. IMEI numbers are important for obviously for the wireless connectivity of the devices. If you wanted us, we can actually activate on Verizon, AT&T, or you know, T-Mobile, which we're working with now for certification since they you know, acquired Sprint. So um, we can provide all of these services at no extra charge to you. They're actually in the course of the devices itself and there are no extra charges. And by doing that, we're able to bring down the cost of the device because we're basically maintaining the device for you. And with the public sector bundled SKUs, we know that those four configurations that we offer you, they're going to be the most moved devices in the country. So we'll be able to bring them into the United States and cut down delivery times dramatically. Our pro services. We have a whole pro services team that we offer, which is basically create, creation and maintaining of the images that I discussed. If, if your agency doesn't have the time or capability to actually create gold images for the device, we have a team that can come in and actually do that for you. So we can create an image, make sure it meets all your approvals and make sure that everything is working seamlessly on the devices so that when they are deployed, there are no issues or any conflicts. Windows 10 migration services, believe it or not, we still have departments out there that are using Windows 7. I actually was with a department yesterday that's still running Windows 7. So we do offer a team that can come in and help you with your CAD, RMS, mobile data, whatever solutions you have and migrate them over from Windows 7 to a Windows 10 platform. And we also have IT project management staff that we can provide so, so we can make sure that your, pro your projects go smooth and there are no worries. And we also have a smart battery program, which is also very important. Smart battery program basically monitors the batteries in your devices. Not all devices are used the same. And if there are issues with the batteries, we can actually diagnose them before um, there's a more serious problem. So it actually saves you money in the long run and it also warranties your batteries in, in the devices themselves, which a lot of other uh, competitors do not do. 
And we also have third party solutions. We, we partnered with best in breed uh, solutions like Nuance. They have their Dragon for law enforcement voice to text dictation, which is a really hot, um, hot button topic to all of my customers that I'm meeting with. Um, really what it does is it, it basically gives the officer in the vehicle situational awareness in the vehicle while they're either dictating a report, a field interrogation, a criminal investigation report, any type of typing that they did need to do in the field, instead of the officer being focused on his screen and typing, that officer could actually talk into the power mic that's lit, that you see in that, that photo and actually have full situational awareness in the vehicle so he could see any threats that are coming at him, um, which obviously uh, lately has been a, a lot uh, too, uh, too often. Um, we also are partnered with HID Digital Persona, which used to be um, CrossMatch. Um, that's our multi-factor security um, logon. We actually offer this system with our devices as well, so that we're able to provide a, a two-factor solution as well as a single sign-on. So instead of having six or seven different passwords for, for each application, you know, with HID, you're able to have a single sign-on for everything. And it, you can provide, like I said, a multi-factor security layer there as well. So everything is, uh, can be CGIS compliant and at the same time as eliminating the loss of passwords and everything else. We also offer absolute device management as well. So we're able, you're able to mon monitor these devices in real time. And in some cases actually track them if they become lost. So we can take a device, working device and turn it into a paperweight if for whatever reason it's stolen or lost. So these are some of the third party solutions that we do offer with our devices. I'm, I've given you a list of some of our Northern California departments on this list. As you can see, you know, Panasonic is everywhere. We're all around the country. We're all around the world. In Southern California, we have some of these departments that, that use us. Um, like I said, we, we do have the market share out there and there is a reason for that. Our failure rates are very, very low out in the field and the longevity of our devices are very long. So you're getting your money's worth on your devices. Return on investment is never an issue out in the field with these, these officers. And as you can see nationally, some of the bigger agencies um, that I put on this list um, as well. So you can you feel free to reach out to any one of them. Some of these are very long time customers of Panasonic and, and we're very proud to have the relationships with all of them. As I said before, earlier on, we, our biggest uh, benefit is that we take the voice of the customer. We actually have an, a law enforcement advisory council, which is made up of, of agencies throughout the United States that we listen to on a quarterly basis. We meet with them. In fact, the last uh, couple of years ago, we took them out to Japan to our factory and met with senior leadership. So we're able to discuss what our future um, you know, offerings will be to make sure that we're not missing anything in the field because the most important feedback is from you, the customer, in order for us to be successful in the future. So we do uh, have that as well. And as I said before, both me and Kyle cover the uh, state of California. As you can see, I'm ex law enforcement officer myself. I'm proud of that. So, um, you know, you have our information here. Please take down our numbers. I think you also have the links to set up meetings with us. We'd be more than happy to come out and meet with you and discuss Panasonic, as well as our third party solutions that we offer. And uh, just want to thank you again for taking the time for the meeting with, with me. Thank you very much. Awesome, Mike. Thanks so much for that. Um, please, if you have any questions for Mike, go ahead and put those in the chat box. Uh, one of the things that came up for me, uh, Mike, during your presentation was how is the pandemic affecting delivery and the supply chain with the product? It's a great question. It, it's affecting everybody, but it's not affect, affecting us as much because a lot of our competitors use most of their components from China, which obviously is a, is a, a sore subject when you talk about the virus. But all, most of our stuff is made in Japan. So every, most of our components are, are good. I mean, we do get some stuff from uh, Taiwan and, and, and China, but not nearly as much that's enough to, to impede our, our delivery times. We do have shipping um, issues, you know, sometimes with FedEx and the carriers that run into issues with COVID. And, you know, early on in the, in the pandemic, our factories were hit with the illness and that kind of slowed things down as well. So, you know, we're always open to having issues, but we try to minimize it. And because we're a Japanese-based company, 
that lessens our risk right now. Well, that's good. Um, one of the other things that I wanted to ask was the differentiator uh, with Panasonic. If you could just do two high level differentiators that Panasonic offers, what, what would that be that just put you uh, head and shoulders above the rest of their options? Well, really, it's, it's our durability and, and the fact and, and, and attention to detail. A lot of the competitors out there um, say that they're fully rugged. They offer rugged mobile computing solutions. But what they're basically doing is they're taking, taking a consumer computer device and putting an otter box on it and saying it's fully rugged. And because it met a drop test or a temperature test, that that makes them fully rugged. Whereas in art factories, the attention to detail on fastening components on the motherboard and making sure that we have the latest and greatest um, uh, technology in our devices and the attention to detail of, of even soldering different things into the motherboard using Panafo Pan uh, Panasonic foam to actually uh, reduce the risk of, of uh, failure in, in uh, drops and such. That differentiates us head and shoulders above anyone else. And that's what I said in my first slide. You know, it was a meaningless slide having the founder on there, but his quote is really important because it does translate to everything that has a Panasonic name on it, whether it's cameras, uh, the uh, razors, electric razors, you know, toilets, anything that makes that Panasonic makes, it, it's, it's best in breed. Awesome. Great. Thank you for that. Any other questions from our participants today? Well, Mike, thank you. We have one more thing to do and I'm going to stop recording so that we can, uh, we can share. Yes.